G'day guys and gal, there has been some seriously chungus armies in our time. The Russians during World War II, literally any Asian empire or dynasty ever, or the close to 1 million emus that fought against brave Aussie veterans during the Great Emu War. Rest in peace those 2,500 bullets that heroically gave their lives to defend us from the flightless menace. But none of these are even a spittle of cum compared to the forces the Imperium has. It's actually disgusting how large man Mankind's army is when you combine Astartes, Sisters of Battle, Mechanicus forces, Guardsmen, and even the PDFs of each world. It's also disgustingly difficult to even get a ballpark figure, but if there's one thing I love more than cock and ball torture, it's making my job as hard as physically possible. Before we get started, listen closely, you peasants. I'm actually allowed to say that because due to legitimate technicality, I am a lord thanks to today's sponsor established titles. How is this the case and why should you care? I bought one square foot of land in Scotland, which absolutely makes me a lord. That's how it works. Exploiting culture for personal gain is a vibe. With this title, I can actually put lord on various documents, such as boarding passes, credit cards, or even dating apps. To top it off, established titles plants a tree for every order we make. Via their global charity partners, one tree planted and trees for the future. Reforestation is tight. I want to drive home, you genuinely get this square foot. It's not imaginary and you can even Google Maps it or potentially even visit it by simply putting in your unique plot number. To add even more spice, using my link below, not only will you get 10% off, but your plot of land will be put near mine. Meaning we are in the process of creating a magical kingdom, a kingdom that may, unlikely, but may become the world's next superpower. Overall, a great unique gift to give to yourself or anyone you'd like. Cheers to established titles for sponsoring this video. Today we'll comb through the lore to determine the approximate size of the Imperium's army, including all their sub-faction forces. Wish me luck. Oh, let's get into it. <laughs> To give a base idea of the obscene size of mankind's army, there are roughly 1 million worlds in the Imperium. Each Imperial world has to meet a minimum requirement for defense, meaning every world has at least a garrison of planetary defense force soldiers. Almost every world that has a stable population will also found their own guardsman regiment. During our own Earth's World War II, we had around 120 million soldiers on the planet. Considering how warlike the Imperium is and how much bigger their world's population can get, I hope you're beginning to see how obscenely large the Imperium's army is. Let's start basic and build our way up. How many super soldiers does the Imperium have? Stuff like the Sisters of Silence, Custodes, Space Marines, and even Sisters of Battle. It's generally accepted that there are about 1,000 Space Marine chapters with an average of 1,000 Space Marines in each chapter. The arrival of the Primaris didn't do a whole lot to change this, as when the Great Rift opened, a shitload of Space Marines died. During the devastation of Bull, most of the Blood Angels died and were replaced with Primaris, as well as the time the Black Templars went full retard and had a civil war with their Primaris Marines. So overall, there has been an effort of GW to keep the number of Astartes relatively even. On top of that, the chapters that are at lower strength than 1000 are balanced out by the chapters that go overboard, like the Space Wolves or Black Templars. So we can comfortably say that there are about 1 million Astartes in the Imperium. Bit of a low number, especially when we start to discuss non-super soldiers. But GW has always been a bit retarded when it comes to numbers, and even has had to low-key retcon a few things because the numbers were so so jarringly low that it made entire wars look stupid. Custodes are easy, they are called the 10,000 for a reason, and whilst in recent lore that number is lower since they locked horns with the armies of Khorne on Terra, we will keep it at 10,000 as that is its general number. The Sisters of Silence go out of their way to hide their numbers, but considering how rare blanks are, how unpopulated their main fortress is, and how neglected the Sisters were until Gilliman arrived, we can put there a number around two to 5,000. The Sisters of Battle is when things start to get tricky. Each major Sistilla battle order, and there are six of them, has a shitload of warriors spread throughout the Imperium. Each city on an Imperial world can have a convent, with a convent having from 200 to 1,000 sisters. In small cities or towns, this number can be low as a couple dozen. Over time, some of these convents have become their own lesser orders and act like a successor chapter. Let's start with hive cities, as each hive city should have a convent. There has been confirmed to be about 32,000 hive worlds in the Imperium, each with 5 to 20 hives each. So let's average it out and say 10. If each convent in a hive has a midway point of about 500 sisters of battle, that means conservative estimates gives us around 160 million battle bitches on hive worlds alone. Considering then that only 3.2% of Imperial worlds 
worlds are hive worlds, we still have hundreds of thousands more convents that would be on all the various civilized worlds. If we say that 80% of imperial worlds are civilized worlds, civilized worlds being worlds that are comparable in population and standard of living to our own real life, with the remaining 16.8% of non-mentioned worlds being a combo of agri-worlds, mining worlds, death worlds and whatnot, and let's say we give each of those civilized worlds only one medium-sized convent of about 200 sisters each, that gives us about another 160 million nuns with guns, for a grand total of approximately 320 million sisters of battle. That is a conservative ballpark. A lot of civilized worlds would easily be able to have multiple large convents, and there are numerous sister of battle forces that, that aren't assigned to one world, but travel with the ecclesiarchies, their bodyguard. As such, let's pin their number at between 320 million and half a billion. We haven't even gotten out of the super soldiers yet, and the space marines only make up like 0.3% of the soldiers in the Imperium so far. Alright, time to get spicy with the line troopers. I'll go over PDF, guardsmen, and naval personnel now. Like I said, each Imperial world must have a military presence regardless of their status or purpose. Using America as an example, we can begin to get a decent idea of how big these PDF forces are. In the US, about 0.4% of the people are active military personnel, with another 0.3% being army reservists. Starting again with hive worlds, each hive world has on average 500 billion people. I got this number by going in the middle of each hive number, that being each hive having 10 to 100 billion people each, with each hive world having 5 to 20 hives. If we then take that number and add the United States Army percentage to it, we get 3.5 billion PDF troopers per hive world. I'm also including the reservists in that number as if the planet was under threat, then they would all be called to PDF duty. Times this number by 32,000 hive worlds and we get an obscenely large amount. Calculator says 1.12e plus 14, which I think is like 112 with like 12 zeros or some shit. This is the number on screen, which should be 112 trillion. If you're a maths nut and I've just fucked this up, then I'm sorry. After all, I am just the dumb shit Aussie YouTuber who didn't go to uni. Regardless, that's a fuckload of PDF forces in just 3.2% of the Imperium's worlds. For the 800-ish thousand civilized worlds at roughly 5 billion people each, that have about 35 million PDF each. So when combining every civilized world, 280 trillion. Combining civilized worlds with hive worlds, we get 392 trillion PDF forces, which you gotta remember is still reasonably conservative. For the remaining worlds, they wouldn't have very big PDF garrisons, as they don't support very large populations to draw from. But let's say we're generous and we give the remaining 160,000-ish worlds 1 million PDF each. That gives us another 160 billion PDF troopers. So my approximate for PDF in the Imperium is 392 trillion, 160 billion men and women. Moving on to Guardsmen, there might seem like an obscenely large amount of Guardsmen operating in the Imperium, but that's actually not the case. Guardsmen are the elite of the elite, they just don't seem like it because they keep getting thrown at the most fucked up shit in all of sci-fi fiction. Each Guardsman would surpass our modern day special forces by a considerable amount, so their numbers do not compete or compare to the PDF. In saying that though, the Administratum has admitted it has no clue how many Guardsmen there actually is but it's not as many as you might think. Firstly, because most of the guardsmen sent into each key war zone are guardsmen taken from a single world. Often these worlds are horrific death worlds with low populations. So whilst the quality of soldier is great, they really can't be that numerous. The Valhallen Ice Warriors, the Death Corps of Krieg, the Katachan Jungle Fighters, the Armageddon Steel Legion. Guardsmen regiments like these are the go-tos for every major conflict. When Gudrun raised up their best and brightest PDF to become guardsmen, it only raised a few dozen thousand if my memory serves correctly. In saying that though, it is an honor for each world to found a guardsman regiment, hence each world capable of doing so will do it, i.e. hive worlds or civilized worlds. We just don't often hear about all these other ones, as often the regiments they do raise are subpar, hence the Imperium would rather call in the Giga Chad regiments to sort shit out, rather than some of the softies on a civilized world that has never known war. GW once again doesn't give us a concrete number for how many guardsmen are in each regiment, or how many regiments there are. However, using real life examples of 3% of armed personnel being special forces, aka guardsmen in this example, we can simply take our 329 trillion 160 billion PDF and take the 3% from that, giving us roughly 11.75 trillion guardsmen operating in the galaxy, with only a fraction of a fraction of those regularly being sent into proper war zones. However, with the Great Rift taking a huge shit on the galaxy, I'd say a vast number of those guardsmen are currently very, very busy. 
So that gives us about 403 trillion 800 billion guardsmen and PDF troopers. What about the Imperial Navy? Well, there is a snippet of law that says there is about 1 billion warp travel capable craft in the Imperium, but that doesn't help much as that includes non-military. Fortunately, some sweaty nerd did a bunch of bitch maths for me to give us a number of roughly 2.5 to 5 million warships. Each of these ships has an absurdly large crew. Light cruisers having around 50,000, medium cruisers are closer to 100,000, while the real big boys can get into the millions. Let's say there are about 100,000 crew per ship, which could be well above or under on average, it's hard to say. Regardless, this gives us approximately 250 to 500 billion Navy crewmen in the Imperium. The last faction to try calculate before my brain fucking explodes is the Mechanicus. Forge worlds, that being Mechanicus worlds, are one of the rarer types and their populations aren't usually that big, ranging from as small as 1 million all the way up to 15 billion max. The Forge worlds are hard to quantify, but one Forge world per sector seems reasonable. Unfortunately, due to how fucking obscenely vast the Imperium is, we don't really know how many sectors there are, but there are a few thousand at least, so let's give the Mechanicus a few thousand Forge worlds. The Mechanicus don't get a hard on for war like the Imperium does, so they don't really have very large militaries. Abaddon was able to siege a Forge world with a relatively small army and was winning until the Blood Angel showed up, so that might give some context. Everything in the Mechanicus has a purpose, and they do like to be efficient, so whilst their number of combat robots, weapon servitors, and Skatari would number into the billions, overall it would contribute like less than 1% of the Imperium's overall armies, so I'm not going to have an aneurysm trying to find lore and calculations that don't exist when the impact is so low. So combining Space Marines, Custodies, Sisters of Silence, Mechanicus, PDF, Guardsmen, and Naval Personnel, we have about 404 trillion military personnel in the Imperium. Or let's say 400 to 600 trillion, as trying to pick an exact number when dealing with this is fucking retarded. I'm not going to get into it, but it goes without saying that there also would be hundreds of billions of tanks, aircraft, armored vehicles, etc, etc. This is why I and many others get a little cranky at GW for their handling of numbers and war zones. The greatest battles of the Great Crusade were smaller than real life battles we have had on Earth, despite the fact that there are millions of times more potential combatants. There is like 400 million normal soldiers for every one Astartes. It's important to note that these numbers were never supposed to be concrete or calculated, and there isn't really much point in doing so, as the armies of the Imperium are more or less infinite. To GW's credit, they have done a decent job of framing the issue as not so much about lack of soldiers, but more so the logistical nightmare of transporting troops to war zones. Gilliman didn't just pull an army out of his ass to reconquer half the galaxy. Actually, yes, he kind of did, but it was mostly his extremely obscene logistical skills which allowed him to gain access to the thousands of ships and trillions of soldiers that were doing fuck all. Meaning he was able to get this awesome army for his Indominus Crusade. This is also why despite half the Imperium not having the light of the Astronomicon, that half didn't instantly die. They still have trillions of soldiers on their side of the galaxy. Funnily enough, my estimation that I lost about five years of dementia-free life calculating matches up closely with Wikipedia's random guess. So there you go, I should have just fucking wikied it and call it a day. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then Patreon is the place to be, where now that the calendar is no longer available for sale, is where the cosplay boobies will be uploaded from now on. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more mathematical content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.